Sometimes when you fear God, people look at you as stupid. They think it's over with you. It's over with you. I can give you an example of what you're supposed to do. This is the time that you discern your friends. If you have friends, that makes you to leave your wife in the house. They are not true friends. If they are friends, if you have friends who hate the ones you love, those friends are not friends. They send your friends because they can make you to go away from the fear of God. Lift up your hands today. Lift up your hands and. Tell God. God loves you. Tell God. God, God there is something. There is something in me that makes, makes me to do what is not right. I want to fear you. And I want to take that thing and give it to you. Because you are the one who cares for me. You are the one who cares for me. There is something that I want to give you. It makes me weak. I want to give it to you. Can you tell God? Can you tell God? Tell God, tell God there's this thing. I'm giving it to God. I'm giving it to God. I'm giving it to God. It makes me to look like I don't fear God. I'm trying to help myself by myself and I'm failing. This is the time I give it to God. 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 I'm trying in my business. I end up doing things which looks like I don't fear God. I'm giving it to God. I give my business to God. Give it to God. I'm trying my marriage. I'm failing. Today, I give it to God. I give it to God. Give it to God. Give it to God. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is the time that you don't rely on your power. The moment when you put yourself in a certain position. You will rely on your power. This is the time that always you go to God as if you have not met him. Because you cannot finish God. You might be knowing him. Just maybe you know 0 0.001 of him. I don't know if you hear me. So that you will understand what is it that you want in your life? What the life that you want you to live? The promises ahead of you. There are things that God wants to give you. And you are not aware. You are living by copying other people. There are some certain things. When you start to fear him, he will make you to imagine. He knows your situation. He is all knowing God. Can you tell God your situation today? God, solve this situation. Prayer, prayer. Tell God, solve my situation. I cannot die here. Solve my situation. Tell your God. Tell your God. Oh God, help us today. We think we know you. We are developing wrong spirits. We feel like we know you. Help us. We do whatever we think we know.
Oh, Jesus, we think we know you. Help us today. We need to have fear. Fearing you. Fearing you, God. We need to have fear. Help us, oh Lord. We are embarking on things that we don't know. In Jesus' mighty name. The fear of God has already left the church. Look when we have to wait for the president to announce that now you can have how many people. The president have to say now you, you need to have many. Now is then you come to church. This shows the fear of God is leading us bit by bit. What we were supposed to run to, to God, we even hide for our lives. As if we don't know that very soon, we have to give account to God. How can, when, how, when you are a Christian, how can you just stay home? And and wait, now it's time to. Look at the people who died for this faith. Look at these guys who were ready to be burned. Look at the apostles, how they died. Our Christianity is all about getting a chapis blessing. blessing Whatever we need now, that very soon we'll be crying about it. You get a job now. The job you are getting now, very soon, you'll we'll be complaining about it. Many of you, not, not long, you were excited you got the job. But look at your job now. You are crying about things that you created. Things that you say, oh God, I want you to give me a car. The same car now. Now it's not saying you want another one. This is all about life. Please, your Christianity is all about your life. Nothing can buy your life. Nothing can buy your life. Your life is important. You cannot just say, hey, no, I cannot stay. You know, one day the president say, will say there's nobody who's supposed to pray here. Even yourself you say the president say you must not pray. What if the president will say there's no there's no church anymore? What are you going to do? You just stay, stay home. home. Deal with your heart. Deal with your heart. Some of you want to accept Jesus. Run forward here. Come now, run forward here. Run. God loves you. If you're a backslider, come also here. Run. If you're a backslider, come also here. Clap hands for these people. Clap hands for these people. Clap hands for these people. Let us lift up our hands and we close our eyes. I say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord I, come before you today. Lord, I come before you today. I confess it with my mouth. I confess it with my mouth. And I believe in my heart. And I believe with my heart. That Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. That Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. And on the third day he rose to power. On the third day he rose to power. Today I come before you. Today I come before you. Wash me of my sins. Wash me of my sins. Cleanse me of my unrighteousness. Cleanse me of my unrighteousness. Make me your child. Make me your child. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To walk in the path of righteousness. To walk in the path of righteousness. Lead and guide my footsteps. Lead and guide my footsteps. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. God bless you. Amen. You can go back. God bless you.